Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Hope you had an amazing weekend, long weekend. And for those of you who are in the United States, hope it was an absolute wonderful celebration of 4th of July for you. You know, when I think about 4th of July and the celebration and we had all kinds of fireworks going and our neighbors, they even had the fireworks in our home. It's uh, so close to the Rose Bowl and we could see the fireworks and everything all the way to midnight. So yeah, it is absolutely a magical to look at fireworks. It is magical to be I think it's magical to be alive. That's what it is. To feel independent, to feel that you are free, that you are free to speak, you are free to do whatever it is that you want, that you are free in your own skin, in your own body, in your own home, in your own neighborhood, in your community, just overall that you are free. And I think that's what it is. We are paying for this uh, price of freedom that so many, uh, when we think about it, they gave they li their life for having us having the freedom to be. But when we think about it, how much a freedom do you really have? Are you truly independent? Are you independent to think what you want to think? Or are you bombarded with the media and everything? So next week, I have an incredible guest. My guest is uh, Frederick Douglas Busey. He is an entrepreneur. He is um, a coach to other uh, entrepreneurs and he comes from background of years of music industry and the entertainment world and now he is coaching uh, others but when we think about it that's exactly what I was thinking how do we celebrate our own independence the independence of the way you think when you want to think, what you want to think, instead of the media or the school or another coach, who is training you, who is feeding you, because every child learns communication. They learn ethics, they learn values, that everyone we learn from our parents, right? And as we do it's like riding a bicycle first you are on a three wheel and the dad or mom whoever is uh teaching you go independence yes uh, teaching you how to be on that bicycle and then you get to learn how to do it on your own and as you start going and you, you master that, then you want to go on a bicycle from tricycle to bicycle. And being on a bicycle, it's like, oh, I can do this. And you first start with a bicycle that when you are ready, your feet can touch the floor and you get to go. And first it's wobbly, but then someone is holding your bike from behind until you gain your confidence and you learn how to pedal. And isn't it true that once you feel that independence that I can do this, oh, it's like magic happening. It's like a, a, a swiss of a wand and it's like, oh, I can go anywhere. And you see this magical thing that even um, in cartoons like E.T., remember E.T.? Oh, I want to go home and this beautiful picture of this bicycle and E.T. wants to go home. There's so much of what we dream about, what we want to stand on and who we want to become is ingrained. So here's my question to you. 
How do you feel as if you are independent? Do you truly know yourself? Do you know what you want? Do you know what you desire? I want you to share, share your dreams, your desires. Did you know that most people know what they don't want versus what they want? Hmm. So if I were to ask you, what do you want? What do you want today? What do you want? Maybe six months down the road, come December, what is it that you would like to accomplish? A year from now, where do you see yourself? So one of my sayings is, it's time for you to express instead of suppress. So when you suppress your desires, after a while, do you know what it becomes? You forget what it is that you even wanted. You forget what is it that you felt like. And yes, there are times that there are people who put a lid on your desires, your dreams, right? But what do you really want? So I wrote a few things that I want to take the train to Monterey and see the seals. That's beautiful. And when is it that you're going to make that happen? And do you have that put together? Do you know exactly when you're going to go? Who are you going to go with? What are you going to do? Right? So many of us, sometimes we just say something and yet we don't take the action. We don't take the first step of saying, if I'm going to go, how am I going to go? Who am I going to go with? And if I go, why am I going? Why do I want to go to Monterey? Why do I want to see the seals? Has that been your dream? Or is that someone's dream and you want to make that into a reality? Hi, Jackie. I'm working on that now. My personal vision not complete yet. Exactly. So when we think about it, Everybody has a mindset, a mindset for body image, a mindset for health, a mindset of this is what I want to create because Lisa is showing up on a bigger platform. And in six months, I'm going to be on a bigger platform. You know that I'm already creating a TV show and come, we're already doing the recording for women who have gone through extreme challenges of their own and now are ready to show up and making a bigger impact on someone else's life. And you know what? That's exactly what I am doing. And I want you to take part with me. I want you to be vested in yourself. And if it is you that I am speaking, join me. That's right. Join me in become healthier. Join me in become having a mindset about wealth, having a mindset about your own body image, having a mindset to say, yes, I matter. You know what? Because showing up is the first thing we do. And then we stand up for who we are, right? In order for us to express and make a difference in someone else's life. So I've been doing this Facebook Live for four years, but I am on a mission. You know I have a nonprofit for motherless children, and every dime that I make, a portion of that goes to assisting and supporting the motherless children. So from now on, my mission has changed. Because every single day I am here to make an impact and become independent so that you can also find your own independence. And there is ways. There is independence of wealth. There is independence of relationship. There is independence of even if you are with your parents or your children. Remember, don't be upset if your children are independent and want their own independence like that bicycle. No matter how much you hold, you want them to be free of you so that they can cycle and go farther. We're not pulling them back. 
there is no leash on that bicycle you want them to feel good about themselves you want them to succeed you want them to get on that bicycle you want them to go right you have to train them support them and keep that place that knowing that you can go around the block first then you can go around the community then you can go as far as you want and hopefully you give that bicycle and you buy a speed bike and when you buy the speed bike when you go racing you go climbing you go then i have done my job right raised you in a way that you are now pedaling forward so that's what we do coaches like me and it doesn't matter what my degree is as a clinical hypnotherapist or an action coach or a speaker i do everything for you to debunk your own self-doubt to find your own independence so that you can excel in whatever it is that you want so if there is a habit or a behavior that has been stopping you or you feel i can't do this because of let's debunk your own becauses let's find the means and release the cord right so so excited for you and what a wonderful mission a wonderful mission all of us together so here's not everything has to be shared remember that when you feel independent you don't have to share every single thing about what you think and what you feel with someone you know why because there are naysayers in life and i want you to find the ones who say yes and celebrate your success everything that you think write it down and sit with it let it simmer is this what i really want does that make you salivate does that make you wake up does that make you you know everyone used to say lisa go after your passion what was my passion you know I, I used to think the same thing it's like there's people who wake up every single day and they go oh my god i can't wait to get up and do this really there's people that kind of a passion why today i realize why because there's people who get up for money to make more money there's people who get up because they want to make breakfast for their children there's people who wake up because they want a bigger thing the cause in their life is bigger and there's people who wake up and say today i am making my body my health my independence my priority because when i feel good about myself when i feel good about my body i feel better and when i feel better and healthier and sexier when i feel that good i am here to make a change and i can do anything i want maybe i can help someone else maybe i can make an impact in someone else's life maybe i can be of service to someone you know being a part of kawanas being a seroptimist being with an organization that is benefiting other children or even help helping the homeless in the community helping uh cancer survivors it can be just about anything but if you are not feeling good about yourself look at the energy right what kind of an energy do you have so that you can give to someone else so everything starts with you you get on a plane they teach you oxygen comes on you before you can share it with someone else so stop say Se second oh I, I i talk about this with my clients stop losing who you are for someone else just because they are in their in your life and it's a new boyfriend 
it's a new relationship it's a new love affair just because they want you to dress this way you can make changes but don't lose who you are to make them happy you know there's another curriculum uh, collo uh colloquium of my uh, even I, I, I that word is a bit difficult hi mark how are you how are you doing oh my god i love this you know what i want you to even share jackie adrian being here even mark have you lost a part of yourself for someone else and if you sit and talk and think to yourself if you did what part of you how long ago and if you did how were you appreciated or did you have to do another thing for them to be happy and after a while that was not enough and then you had to lose or do more for them to be happy you know there is as a domestic abuse consultant there is so much of that that I help my clients see what part of you and how much of you did you give up thinking that you're going to receive and you kept giving and giving right so stop losing yourself for others third do something that makes you happy and it can be from taking like 15 minutes a day just to listen to a music that just makes you happy even the song by Pharrell happy you know that song there was nothing magical except people were hungry for the words for the message just be happy you know the book and the movie secret every single person that was in the movie secret coaches influencers and visionaries right there was no secret they even said it there is no secret to the secret you are the secret so when we think about it it's that internal when talk of what I talk about heal within it's the wounds and the scars that you have that you just have to shed a light so that you can evoke it so that you can embrace who you are in order for you to evolve to the things you desire so when you come to me that's exactly what we do you can always be in touch with me as a matter of fact even today you can text relax to 818-221-2797 just text the word relax and get 30 minutes of my audio recording so that you can take 30 minutes of me time and just relax deeply and profoundly so that you can hear yourself and be one with yourself that is called heal within by saying I matter every single day take some me time for you learn to say no by all means learn to say no and remember no is as good of an answer as yes yes dear yes dear yes dear remember say yes dear to you there's a little girl there is a little boy learn to say yes to you first it's okay no can you do this for me uh yes i will but not now give me half an hour give me 10 minutes i will be there not even give me you know what i will be there in 10 minutes that means i am giving you the answer that i will do so but in 10 minutes now follow your dreams 
Did you know what you wanted to be growing up? Did you know what you wanted to be growing up? That little boy, that little girl, did you dream? I remember growing up in Iran, my grandmom, um, the balcony, we, we had these uh, uh, beds that we would put in the summertime. And as I would lay, there was a net right over us so that the mosquitoes would not come in. And there was this green thing that would uh, repel mosquitoes and it was called moon tiger. Oh my God, even now as I speak it, I can smell it. You know, certain things, scent, images, sounds, taste, touch, those are all embedded in our psyche, in our uh, essence of who we are. Muscle has memory. Those are all embedded, especially from zero to seven growing up. Those are the times that a child, it's like a sponge. Everything is embedded. So growing up, just laying there in the net, and I remember looking up into the stars, and I've said this so many times, I would say, that's Paris, that's London, that's America, that one is this, that one is that. You know, a child's dream, and I wanted to be a part of the star and travel. And you know what? Someone just yesterday, a friend of mine asked me, where do you want to go next? <gasps> where do I want to go next? I love planes. I just want to get on a plane and go to the ocean next. And I want to go to Atlanta. And I want to go to Austin. I've, I want to go to Texas because I love country dancing. I love to be around cowboys. I want to go to Texas because that's the million dollar clubs next meet up. And you know what? That is called dreaming. That is stepping up and saying, I do matter. That's what I want. So follow your dream, know your dreams and make that happen. So today, it is about celebrating you, celebrating your own independence and knowing that no matter where you are, what you do, there is not a single person just like you. Even if you had a twin, they don't think like you, they don't feel like you, they cannot be you because you are a gift. You are a child of God. So if these messages make a, an impact, if these messages make a difference, by all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. I do have that YouTube channel. It is on YouTube. It is in Aliza Babari. If you want to make a difference and stand up and know more about you and how you can peel away those emotional weight, those things that you believed because of what they said is who you become, it's time for you to stand up for yourself and enhance your life, your body, your psyche, your wealth, your health. And I am here. To guide you, support you, and help you through this. That's how we heal with it. And lastly, do share this message. By all means, like, share. Because in my line of business, the best referral is called a testimonial. And every single day, know that. I am here to make an impact, not only in your life, but the ones that matter to us. Because we are bigger than just I. We are a community. A community that is ready to heal and make an impact on bigger and vast global ways. Thank you for being here. Oh my God.
Henri, Henri, Henri. Hello, Henry. It likes two C's meeting at one point. It can mix. They can never be what they were before, but they can't lose themselves. So true. Love and blessings, my dear Mark. You are my biggest cheerleader in the for the last two years. You have been there. And you know what? Thank you. Our words, yes and no, as examples and how we use them, how you just shared with us, use them. Give us independence. Amen. Um, love you, Henry. Love you. Thank you all for being here. And as you have been sharing YouTube, yes, Henry, I do have a YouTube. I am on YouTube. I am on Clubhouse. I am, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me here on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram everywhere. Just put Lisa Bubari and you can find me and my TV show that it's about to start. It's Heal Talk with Lisa.tv. Actually, you can even find Lisa.tv. If you know anyone who would like to support me, be a sponsor, let me know. If you know anyone who has gone through those challenges and wants to make an impact on bigger platforms or if you have a platform for me to speak, by all means, let me know. Great, write the link. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I love it. Yes, this is called the community. Our community is becoming bigger. I love it. It is a tribe. It is a tribe that it is like-minded folks who come to make a bigger difference in life. And for that, I must thank you and every single one of you for your energy, for your joy, for your gift. And for that, I thank you. It's called gratefulness. And you know, as always, take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, place your hand upon your heart and do this pledge. A pledge of independence celebrating you and say, every day in every way, I accept and appreciate myself for who I am. I matter. And with that, I thank you. God bless you and see you next week. May the universal may the universal light surround you and see you next week. Remember, I've got a guest next week. It's Real Talk with Frederick Douglas Busey. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye, Henry. Bye, Adrian. Bye, Jackie. Bye, Mark. Bye, all. I feel like little John. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago,